Okay, well, thanks for coming and joining me for this recording. First, congratulations on submitting the abstract. Yes. So, let's get started. For Thank you so much, sir. Introduce yourself, tell me where you are from, how you get started in this year, and then we go to that. Okay, sir. My name is Kushbu Patil. I am currently studying in Sri Dhanvantari Pharmacy College, which is in Kim in Gujarat. Uh, I am pursuing my PharmD sixth year, that is internship from Kiran Multi Super Speciality Hospital, which is located in Surat in India. Okay, very good. So what is your career goals? What do you want to do after you finish your PharmD? After my PharmD, I have planned for clinical research mm -hmm. for a year or two, maybe in India. And further, I'm planning for US. I want to, uh, I'm in my long-term career, uh, career goals are for US. Okay, long-term career goals in US. Do you want to still do PhD or something or you want to be a pharmacist in US? I want to be a pharmacist in Okay, very good. Well, uh, I think the opportunity you have trying to avail yourself is very good. Once you come and see how US looks like and uh, attending the conference, it gives you possibility for networking and that can be useful in your future career goals. So that is the problem. Yes, definitely, sir. That's what more I'm looking for. Very good. And so how did you join? How long you have known? Uh, Rakam and when did you join Form Doctors and did you attend the sessions which was provided by Kartik Rakam? Yes, sir. I've known Kartik, sir, since a year, maybe almost mm -hmm. a year. Yeah. And uh, I've met him through PharmaCon Society and Farm Doctors. Mm -hmm. I was part of mentorship program and I have attended many sessions held by sir and many other speakers. And they have provided me like to so much of confidence and a true mentorship program, like a true mentor, because uh, mostly family students in India are like not guided properly, or I don't know what mindset they have, but Sir Kartik Sir specifically is a very, very good mentor. And I'm so much thankful to Sir for providing this opportunity as well. Wonderful. Uh, so what led you to do this project and what are the motivation factor and how you went about doing it? This project, uh, I have been doing, I've done this project in last year and it was like in hospital, in clerkship I have did, uh, I've saw many cases and most of cases from uh, nephrology. I have specific interest in nephrology. Okay. So I've been seeing the cases and everything in nephro uh, specific disease, chronic kidney disease. So I have planned that most of the dosing is dosing adjustment has been required in chronic kidney disease patients. So I thought, let me go for this one. I yeah. did along with my two other colleagues. No, it's very good because it's a to me, it's almost like the basics of pharmacy is to adjust the dose. And it's yeah. quite interesting that many people, even though it is the basics, they talk about it in the literature, in the classroom. But when it comes to real life, many people don't even pay any attention to it. So thanks yeah. for doing it. So how did this opportunity of coming to travel abroad, like if would you have presented the same abstract or would you have worked with the same amount of motivation if you didn't have this opportunity? Did like, get I don't have to get opportunity or not, but I'm obliged, very much obliged for this opportunity, specific to if I get selected to present that APHA international meeting. Well, Kushbu, from based on what I have seen in the past, you chance a very good chance of getting it. And if you, even yeah. if you do get it, you are certainly welcome to come on the study of law. Okay, the fact is we have done the effort. Sometimes selection of abstract or random, but in my, yeah. opinion, in my opinion, yours will get selected, but we'll see from there. Let's see how 
how my opinion, how valid yeah. is my opinion. But in either case, <laughs> uh, remember that at this point, in next two, three weeks, we will be sending an invitation letter. But all is conditional how things work out with respect to code. Okay, so yeah. while I don't want you to be excited about it, but always the last few years, things from COVID has led to a lot of cancellations, both me taking students abroad and bringing in students. So yeah. that's beyond my, out of my control, what regulations Ohio has or my college have at that point. But if all things go well, I look forward to welcoming you in spring in Finlay and also hoping to join you in the APHM meeting, okay? But thank you for coming and doing this session with me and I will, uh, you know, I wish you a safe few months till we meet in person. Thank you.